Thanks for coming back to another video on the final days. Today is April 1st, 2020. Today we will be looking at a time and size comparison of a large celestial orb that we've been monitoring for many months. Unfortunately, it is rarely visible because the sky has been heavily saturated with atmospheric chemicals in the locations where this object would normally be viewed from. We're also going to be looking at information regarding the asteroids that are now beginning to trickle in toward Earth. These incoming asteroids are another reason the skies have been so clouded over. The purpose of this channel is to show the viewers that we are living in the very last days according to the Holy Bible, and to explain how to say, stay safe in these last days. The video you are now watching came from the southeast facing FAA weather camera located in Yukon River Bridge, Alaska. Each image in these videos is 10 minutes apart. It's very difficult nowadays to find footage like this from this camera because the sky is normally kept very cloud covered. For several reasons, we know this cannot possibly be a lens flare of the sun. A lens flare of the sun is a camera produced reflection of the sun. So it has to look like the sun. Look at the fast rotation of this celestial object. Our sun only rotates once every 27 Earth days, so this can't be a, a, a lens flare of the sun. Additionally, look at the textured surface of this object. Our sun certainly does not have a surface like that. In Luke chapter 21 verse 25, Jesus describes the last days when he says that we will see signs in the sky. This is definitely one of those signs. Here's a quiz for all of you. There is something very, very wrong with the sun in this footage. Can you guess what it is? In some of these images, the sun is actually in front of the celestial object. This should raise a red flag in everyone's minds. It is impossible to see something like this behind the real sun with the naked eye or without a telescopic uh, filtered camera lens. The sun is 93 million miles away. And look at the detail that we are able to see on this object without a telescope. This is not the sun passing in front of this celestial object. I won't belabor the subject about the sun any longer because it's been covered in many previous videos. I will tell you though that many trillions of dollars have been spent to hide this inbound planetary system because the enemies of Christ do not want you to know how close to the end we are, nor do they want you to turn your life over to Jesus while you still have time. Information is at the end of this video instructing you on how to accept Christ into your life. Here are four different snapshots of this same object from the same camera during four different time periods. Back on June 28, 2019, this object was 148 screen pixels in diameter. I use screen pixels because it's a consist consistent way of measuring something, a picture on the screen. Ten weeks later, on September 8th, it was a bit larger, which indicated that it was either approaching us or Earth was approaching it. But then on February 28th, we were farther away. And as of March 28th, just a few d days ago, we were even farther away. Thus, the distance between Earth and this celestial object is now increasing. Here is Earth's position in the solar system as of today, April 1. 
the large blue object is a powerful magnetic celestial uh, anomaly that Earth is moving toward on our path around the Sun. Its magnetic force bends light, time, and space. The blue line with arrows is the path that the magnetic object takes coming into our solar system and then leaving. According to Mike from around the world, this magnetic object has halted the rotation of other planets in our solar system as they have passed by it, and Earth will fall prey to this same effect. Many other Earth changes will occur as we get closer. Earth will be closest in mid-May. Several months ago, Homeland Security warned every citizen to have at least a six-month supply of food and water on hand. Some Earth changes that will increase dramatically are solar radiation, earthquakes, volcanic activity, and the heating up of Earth's molten core. These are all biblical judgments coming upon the earth and they are described in the Bible's prophetic book of Revelation. Also described in this prophetic book is the falling stars which is the asteroid debris field that earth is also heading toward. If you'll look at the diagram we will be going through the asteroid debris field sometime between June and August. This was described on March 16th on Israeli News Live and it was also confirmed by Mike from around the world. The asteroids are yet another biblical judgment coming upon the earth. Faithful followers of Christ are not appointed to these judgments according to many passages throughout the Bible. Read Psalm 91 for God's promises to his faithful remnant during these times of wrath and judgment. Mike said that these asteroids will begin as a trickle, one here and there, and maybe even days where we don't even see any. On days where we would normally be able to see these asteroids, the skies will no doubt be kept heavily cloud-covered. Many of the world's elite have already taken cover. The CEOs of the wealthy empires have all left, using the virus as a reason. And just in the past week, a huge number of U.S. troops have gone into the underground beneath Cheyenne Mountain. On March 20th, an asteroid exploded over Pittsburgh. This was captured on a sky camera. And even the heavy cloud cover uh, didn't hide it. You can still see the bright flash. We won't be able to see most of the asteroids flying by in our atmosphere because of the nearly continuous heavy cloud cover. They know uh, the powers that be know when these will be flying over, so I'm assuming that cloud cover will be heavy on those days. So really we'll only be able to see the ones that actually hit the earth. Such as this one that hit a town in Nigeria Monday. It, it destroyed buildings and it left a crater 150 to 200 feet in diameter. Israeli News Live also covered this event. Jesus clearly states that if we stay close to him, living in holiness, we will escape God's wrath, the judgments. He says this in Luke chapter 21 verse 36. A link in the description box below discusses what holiness is and how to achieve it. The next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life. Please, please pause the screens if you need more time to read the text.